Hello students. Today we are going to solve a problem from particle physics and this question basically asked in TIFR 2020. Okay, in that question they have given a rho meson can decay by two channels. One is rho 0 decays to pi plus plus pi minus. Okay. And another channel is rho 0 decays to pi 0 plus pi 0. Okay. So what is the question? Question is probability of rho 0 decaying to pi plus plus pi minus that is how much? Okay. Okay. Let us solve this question. So first of all, first of all, for rho 0 decay, rho 0 decay will always follow or this is always, this decay will always be allowed only by strong interaction. Whenever there is a rho 0 decay, rho meson decay, that should be allowed only by strong interaction. Second thing, for any decay or interaction, angular momentum should be conserved. Okay. So for rho 0 decays to pi plus pi mi plus pi minus, rho 0 has pin quantum number that is on. Okay. So on the left hand side, you will have angular quantum number that will be how much on. But on the right hand side, on the right hand side, the spin of pi plus and pi minus that is zero. So to preserve or to conserve that total angular momentum, orbital quantum number of product should be on to conserve that total angular momentum. Okay. Second thing, as I mentioned that this decay is only allowed by what? It is only allowed by strong interaction. And for strong interaction, parity should be conserved. Now, how to calculate that parity? So, total parity is nothing but its orbital part that is minus 1 to power L, then intrinsic part. Intrinsic part or intrinsic parity. Okay, so let us check that total parity of reactant or rho 0. So for rho 0, this part will be ignored because L is 0 and intrinsic parity of rho 0. Since rho 0 is basically boson, so intrinsic parity of boson is basically how much? Minus 1. So on the left hand side, the total parity is how much? That is minus 1 for this decay. Okay. And for the product, it is how much? You have orbital part L is 1. So I can write orbital part is like this and intrinsic parity of pi plus and pi minus. So you have to take product of intrinsic parity of pi plus since both are basically boson. So their intrinsic part will be basically minus one into minus one. So you have to keep in mind that parity is basically multiplicative in nature. So intrinsic parity of product will be intrinsic parity of pi plus into intrinsic parity of pi minus. So you see on the right hand side, you have how much minus one. So basically left hand side minus on, right hand side minus on. So parity is conserved for this decay. So basically this decay is allowed. This decay is allowed. But for this decay again, for this decay again, angular momentum should be conserved. Okay. For that, L should be on for product. The product orbital quantum number should be on. Again, if you see pi 0 and pi 0, both are basically what? Both are basically identical particle. Also, they are basically boson. So boson should have symmetric wave function. But L equals to 1 is basically representing what? Anti-symmetric wave function. So this product should have symmetric wave function. So L equals to 1 is not possible. L equals to naught is not possible. And if L equals to naught, L is not equals to 1, then this decay is not allowed. So for, for symmetric wave function, L should not be equals to 1. And if L is not equals to 1, this decay will not be all allowed because total angular momentum is not conserved. It means basically this decay is not allowed. 
so probability of following row zero decays to pi plus plus pi minus this channel probability will be how much that should be equals to that should be equals to one so probability of decay of this channel will be how much one thank you